And we're back at it again. What's up? Welcome to the stream. That's right. As you can clearly see, it's going to be more skies of Arcadia today. <clears throat> um, yes and yes. Making sure everything looks good here as usual. How's it going? Like I said, more skies of Arcadia. A little hooked on this. Uh, I played a little bit since on my own, just a tad, uh, since breaking yesterday from this game. Whoa. A little bit loud. Soundtrack's great, but it's booming in my ears, man. Uh, and yeah, did a, basically just healed up at uh, Maramba and, um, Got a little bit of gear, sold some stuff, and it's pretty good. Little Jack's looking in good shape. I think everybody's pretty much up to speed as far as the gear is concerned. So we should be good to go. But it doesn't hurt to do a couple more battles. Last time on Skies of Arcadia, we fought uh, Admiral Blaza and the Red Gigas. It was all exciting stuff. I dug it. I also figured out how to do that. I didn't know that you could change um, the elemental properties on the fly. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, I don't have like a chart or anything to tell me what the weaknesses are, but I kind of get it. You kind of get a feel for them a little bit. I suppose it'd be preferable, but yeah, getting as much damage out of these attacks as I can is is nice. Uh, but that was all pretty daring and exciting stuff that happened last stream, and I just got by by the skin of my teeth. So doing a little uh, extra here and there it won't be you know extra battles and whatnot it won't, won't be a bad idea. Hey, what's up, Vamp? Uh, change your name. I noticed that, yeah. So, I don't know what you want me to call you, but welcome to the stream. Glad you could stop by. I think these guys are weak against uh, the yellow. I don't know. Maybe that's just the, the Pokemon part of my brain functioning. Yeah, water is weak against electricity. I equate blue to the water. There we go. Uh, things have been pretty good. Not too bad. Um, took some time off, do some stuff. Didn't really have any games that I wanted to stream for a little while. Uh, came back a couple weeks ago with... What did I do? I did a little bit of the forest, but that ended up... Not working so great because the game kept crashing on me, <laughs> and then a uh, bit of God of War, and then I uh, decided I wanted to start this because I purchased it. So I found this in D2, another Dreamcast game at one of the local game stores, and uh, I've been wanting to play this for quite a while. So this has kind of been the game. Uh, at some point, I'm looking at at doing Deus Ex, but. Oh boy, here we go with these battles. I suppose I could just run, I might do that eventually, but like I said, I don't, I don't mind too much because I could use the uh, the experience. Especially since Fina like lost out on a bunch. Asbeth. Uh... Can't see it, Captain. Oh wait, no, that's not what I want to attack. Shit. Never played Scars of Arcadia, know about it, but never played it. It looks fun. Uh, it is a fun game. Traditional RPG. This is kind of like that that turn of a generation. Oh god, no. Uh, that's not fun. <laughs> Maybe Fina can get her back up to speed, or maybe I could just take these guys out real quick. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna make a mention this before, but yeah, the, um, the Dreamcast was in that that era 
like where things were just starting to transition from like N64, PlayStation, into PlayStation 2, but we weren't quite there yet. This was like late 90s, early 2000s. I believe this game came out in 2000 or 2001. I forget exactly, but... You know, when I, when I saw it, playing it for the first time, I'm like, wow, this actually looks pretty good. Because uh, I equate it to other games that came out around the same time, like Final Fantasy IX, for instance. And I was like, yeah, this looks a sight better than Final Fantasy IX, but you gotta remember that it was on more powerful hardware. What a loser. And, um, they were kind of up in the ante, but it still, it still has that, like, that so PlayStation bad. vibe, that PlayStation stink to it. <laughs> and, um, you kind of, you kind of get a feel for that when you're playing this game. But it's got some interesting little, little points, you know, ship to ship battles, this whole elemental thing. It's an interesting little battle system, despite being largely the same. <clears throat> Where's my water at? Cause this is going to hurt. <clears throat> Listen up boy, this area is known as South Ocean. It's considered to be one of the most difficult places to sail through. I can tell there's a lot of like cyclones and stuff. There's a strong crosswind that blows from the west. Nobody has ever successfully sailed through it. But the lands of the green moon are through here, right? And besides, we have Belize's engine now. It's not like we don't have a chance of making it through. Hmm, perhaps. But my knowledge of this place is limited. You're on your own, boy. <laughs> yeah, couldn't tell. With the giant, you know, wind tornadoes. This isn't going to be easy to journey, or an easy journey. Prepare yourselves for the worst, kids. Okay. What would happen if I just... Sailed right into one of those? That'd be all right, all right. Oh god. Okay, I might, I might not have the opportunity to not find out. It's, it seemed to be pulling me in. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks a little uh, perilous, but I'm sure we can manage. I think I'd make mention of this a couple streams ago. This this game has some uh, plot points, story elements reminiscent to games like Final Fantasy. You could tell Final Fantasy uh, was a big influence, but like Final Fantasy VII in particular. I mean, you have some of the more Jules Verne style. Oh yeah, I forgot she was uh, she was knocked out last turn. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta get her back. Oh well. Um. Some of the more Jules Verne style things, like Final Fantasy IX. Obviously, there's lots of emphasis on the airships. Sky pirates, all that kind of stuff. Don't kill them, please don't kill them. Ah. Ah. I don't believe it. Maybe we can run from this one. Okay, I'm fine with that. Here I am talking and I'm forgetting the needs of my crew. Oh god. That didn't look good. Um... Damn, I only got two Sacrus Crystals. <sighs> I guess it's gonna be worth it though. Good enough for me. Some other stuff though. Basically what I'm trying to say is it feels very familiar to other games that already exist. That isn't to say that it's a carbon copy or a clone or anything like that, but playing it, you kind of get a sense of what they're going for here more easily than, uh, you know, something else just, just out of the blue. Uh, and I, I can appreciate that. Of course, obviously taking those influences, there were very, things that were very popular at the time um, is nothing unheard of, so. I'm gonna take a guess and say that these guys are gonna be weak against red, so let's give this a shot and see if it does anything spectacular. Uh, magic system is very somewhat bizarre, but 
I can I can dig it. Pretty much anybody can learn anything. It's just a matter of what you want to focus on. Uh, drag my I don't know. Let's change this first, and you can just go to town. How's about that? Didn't get take that much damage. Maybe maybe it was incorrect in my assumption. The, the, I mean the ones that were colored red. I kind of guessed they wouldn't be taking damage, but whatever. This attack sucks. And it's like every time it's hit, it's it's always knocked out my, my party member. Usually there's like a small percentage that it does that. But no, so far it's just been 1-1. One, one. Try purple. Let's see if that does anything. Yeah, let's see. No. Oh my god. Nobody made the cut. I'm I'm gravely disappointed. Okay, well those looper things usually run, so there you go. Let's just get rid of that. We'll see if we can focus on this one. Ah, oh, it sucked. There you go. About time. Is it over already? Huh. Already. I even had a knocked out party member. You can't say that. And poor Fina's been getting the short end of the stick. She keeps on, um, oh god. Ugh. She, <laughs> she keeps on getting knocked out during battles. I suppose that means I should get better armor for her, but last time I checked to, to see what the armor situation was for her, she seemed to be okay. She didn't need anything that was available at the time, so. I'm getting ideas. Alright. Well, I'm glad to present any sort of inspiration for you. It's a little more manageable. I'm I'm fine with just four of these guys. When I, when you have taken on a dozen of them, that's not it's not as good. I don't know. Let's see if silver does anything on those red guys. I don't know. We'll do we'll do purple again. See if that does anything. One thing I'm starting to see the uh, the effect on here is that uh, one of, this game got re-released on the GameCube, which I made mention of before. It's called Skies of Arcadia Legends, and basically they had uh, improved some of the in-game models. They had changed some of the game mechanics. Uh, they removed a mechanic that was directly tied to the VMU on the Dreamcast, because obviously you can't do that with GameCube. Um, but one of the things they changed was the uh, 
battle encounter frequency. Um, I guess in the Dreamcast, it was a bit excessive, so they actually cut it down in the GameCube version. And on top of that, they boosted experience uh, to make up for the lack of battles. Which it seems a little bit like a, a bit of a jip, but um, yeah. So now I'm stuck with extra frequent random encounters and uh, I don't know, I guess GameCube owners got lucky. Um, basically, yeah, the color weakness system, um, it is tied to elements, uh, you just don't see that from the battle menu necessarily. We finished them off. Yes, we did. Which I'll show you in a sec here. I could have showed you that, I guess. <laughs> that would have worked, too. Uh, basically, so you have your equipment here. You have your weapons, like the scout wing. Um, each of these is obviously a different color. Uh, they're different moonstones, is what they call them. Moonstones will have elemental properties. I forget exactly which one each are. Green seems to be for, for healing. Red is fire. Blue is wind and water. Um, I think purple is ice. Yellow is electricity. And silver's silver's just silver. Silver's just great, I guess. I, I don't remember. Um, but it also, I think it heals for status effects and, and resurrection as well. So basically, whatever, whatever element they have at the time of getting experience, the experience boost will boost um, experience towards those colors and and um, depending on the element that they have equipped they'll learn certain spells that are under the under those elements it's basically my gist of it that's how I see it so if you want you know party member to focus on attack elements uh, then you know maybe do a red or a, a purple blue yellow any one of those will be good um, if you want them to focus on healing like we can do for whoops for Fina here. Uh, oh, she's already on green, so you just set that elemental property to green. But it also affects um, weaknesses in, in battle as well against enemies. So you know, if an enemy enemies have little borders around their um, around their portraits in the battle menu, and those colors correspond to the element that they currently carry. What's up, Seroxis? Welcome to the stream. We finished him off! Yeah, it's a, it could be a bit of a grind, I could see that. Um, I haven't done much grinding in this game, obviously, since it's a game that I primarily just do streaming for. Uh, my idea with these games usually is just to do grinding off stream and then save the meat of the gameplay for streaming. Um, not that I've done that too much. I haven't really had any points where I could break off and actually do that, but uh, I've made an attempt. I did it last last night. <laughs> what worked on these guys? I don't, I don't remember. I, I, I remember hearing about there being a, a, a weakness chart, which I should probably look into. I'm sure one of the in-game characters can explain it. I, of course, neglected to uh, look at any of that at all, because I didn't want to go through that at the moment. That yeah, didn't work out so well. One of the funky things about this game is the, um, MP system, uh, spells all use one MP regardless of, you know, how effective or powerful you might conceive them to be. Um, it's just that MP isn't very plentiful, you know, at, at this point in the game characters will have in and around maybe like 10 to 12, so not a whole lot of opportunities to use magic. That's why I tend not to use them magic spells too much. Especially with some of these characters, they're like Feist, who's only got like seven or so. Uh, it's all right, though. But people that have got a little bit more, like Ika, Fina. A little 
little more willing to uh, do some magic with them. Let's see if any of this has like any effect on them. Drachma's just a powerhouse, you could just have him attack anything. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't so great. Come on. A lot of the things to take in consideration is there's a, the, the big bar that's at the top of the screen. That's uh, SP, spirit points. Uh, the more spirit points you have available, the more actions you can use. Uh, special attacks, which is similar to like a limit break in Final Fantasy, are tied directly to SP. Uh, some of them using, you know, like 7 to 12 at the moment uh, SP points. Uh, in order to actually be used. I don't think I can, like, go to any of these islands. And, um, so, like, using magic will use up SP, um, any sort of healing magic, but just standard attacks and items do not. So, if you want to boost SP, not only can you do a focus command to uh, focus up your SP points, but you can also uh, just do attacks or items as opposed to, um, you know, using spells, and you can boost them that way just by natural turns. So there's, there's an extra, like, added layer of, uh, of, um, you know, strategy here, and, uh, it's a bit of a waste, but I don't really care. It's not like I'm using anything anyway, aside from the SP, uh, but I will show you one of the, one of the special moves, so you can kind of get a, image for what it's like, oh yeah, I can't use magic because I'm out of SP, so, I don't know, everybody just attack, that's fine. Actually, no, you could, you could focus. There you go. So I actually have to check and see if I can get a new move for any of these dudes. That was terrible. A terrible hit. So was that, wow. Oh well, at least it did a uh, status effect. Yeah, pretty nice, you get good special moves. Uh, a lot of action and flurry, uh, some of them do it a little better than others. Uh, you know, we could do... Um, here, let me change this. I'm gonna have you attack this one way out here, since it's kind of isolated. Uh, I'll, uh, a lot of the uh, special moves and magic is real dependent on you reading the description sometimes, so... <laughs> you have to memorize some of this stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way you could actually read that in the, uh, in the battle menu. But... Um, some of them will have sort of effective properties, like uh, they'll be able to blast through more than one enemy if it's in a if it's in a line or it can attack the adjacent enemy or you know other little things like that some of them are just direct attacks but you kind of got to watch and learn Let's see so like alpha storm with ica attacks all enemies in a line ah I don't like that. Let's see how effective this is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that Eternium is a real pain in the ass. I think, uh... There, somebody, somebody just used Pyre. Let's just end it now. Moons, give me strength. Yeah, that Eternium move I've been encountering a couple times here. 
Uh, it didn't, didn't even kill everybody. Um, but it's it's effectively just a knockout hit. There you go, Drachma. I'm glad everyone is okay. I don't know about Ika, but yeah, everybody's relatively okay. Oh no. I want to get sucked up into that before I go into the menu here. Okay, so you're just gonna have to heal yourself, because, uh... That's just the way things are right now. <laughs> eh, let me see, though. Let me see if I could do a super... I don't got any moon berries. That's the problem. I need moon berries to, uh... Unlock super moves, and I just haven't found any. This airship have gas? It does not. Um... The meter on the right is elevation, or on the left, rather. You have the compass and you have elevation, so depending on the height I'm at, it just shows you how high or low you could go. Which, there's there's a bit of emphasis in this game is, uh, for, like, exploration. So the open, you know, the overworld, rather, uh, gives you a little bit of variety as far as what you could do. There's landmarks you can explore, which is, and you could then um, report to, uh, I don't even know what you would call it, adventure agencies. <laughs> There's a name for it, I just forget. Uh, you could report it to certain agencies and, and collect reward money on it, uh, basically for finding certain landmarks and stuff like that. So that's kind of what they're all about. Uh, what do we want to try here? Blue on green? Let's see if that works. Maybe it's playing against my expectations, who knows. Let's see if Crystalli... I, I still gotta get a feel for a lot of the magic here. This is kind of the f first time in the game where we've had a real full party. Um... Uh, even though it's not the first time we've been able to, like, kind of explore, this is kind of the most open it's been at this point in the game, so... There's a lot of room for error here, there's a lot of room for, you know, kind of trial and error, I suppose you could say, and... Seeing what works and what doesn't. Yeah, that did, that did nothing! Oh god, no. Uh, one complaint I have is there is severe lack of a uh, means to resurrect your party members. Fina's got one spell that can do it. But it's just a spell. I don't think I've seen an item yet that can actually affect them that much. As far as, uh, like, resurrection goes, which is weird, I mean... You know, be thankful that... <laughs> I guess in my case, I haven't had any, too many problems with uh, party members dying. Or it's a problem, but... Uh, and everybody's kind of hurting, too. Let's see if that works. And at, at that, her spell only has a 50% chance of actually working, too, so... That in itself is a problem. Oh, no. There goes that. Oh, wait! Oh, yes. I don't think I've used the spell yet, so let's see see how effective this 50% chance really is. Nope. <laughs> I could have seen that coming. I got the worst luck when it comes to uh, this kind of stuff. We'll try it again. We'll see if it happens. 
I hate having her lose that much experience, but... Okay, well... I suppose we can kill them all, that's fine too. Let us be thankful for our safety. Oh, but I'm really feeling the effects of, uh... <laughs> the, uh... Random encounters. Let's see here. Good enough, I guess. I got a couple magic droplets I could use. What's up, Highborn Hero? Welcome back. Good to see you here. I use a couple sacred crystals. Good enough. Dreamcast had an insane encounter right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now. Well, we'll make do though. Not the best when it comes for, uh, it comes to streaming. Usually the story parts are the things we want to see. What we want to watch are the big time battles. Uh, random piddly encounters aren't the greatest, but... Prefer it to the GameCube version. GameCube was too easy. They half the encounter rate, double the experience. Never felt like you were struggling. See, that's what I mentioned um, just a few minutes ago, though. It's like, um, it doesn't quite seem fair. <laughs> um, but they, they completely balanced it out, so, you, you know, it was less effort to actually play through the game. So you get the half, uh, you know, just like you said, you get the half exp um, half encounter rate, but you get, you get boosted experience, so it all makes up. Uh, and, and you have to do less battles, uh, for any of the work. Where this is just suffering, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is, this is okay, I don't, I don't mind. So besides, it gives me a chance to talk and explain things or whatever. Um, but, yeah, it's, um... It, it could weigh on you. I, I think it would be less... Uh, you feel it less when, uh, you're not, you're not streaming though, of course. So, if you were just doing this at home, I'm sure you Like most of us, I would just be brain dead and <laughs> going through these battles, right? Uh, I've heard that the sound quality in general is better on the GameCube. I heard, or, I mean, not the GameCube, the, uh, the Dreamcast, rather. Um, I heard that there was, like, some bad compression for the GameCube version. Uh, and that, that goes for music, that goes for sound effects, uh, some of the voice clips. I haven't, like, professionally investigated this myself, but, uh, that's just, that's just what the word was, so. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I've got my, uh, headphones tied directly into the sound, uh, of the, of the Dreamcast. I got the AV cables put in my mixer here, so. I haven't heard any problems with it. I heard that, um... Somebody I watched that was streaming this game before uh, was complaining about like crackles and um, just weird compression practices just to get it all on that one GameCube disc. Yeah, yeah, and that, that was the problem. I can't think of any GameCube games that had like more than one disc. I don't think that was a thing by that generation. <laughs> People were trying to get away from that as much as possible. That kind of died out with, you know, Dreamcast was probably the last console to actually do the multi-disc um, game systems. What the hell was that? Oh, they're like leaves or something. It's bizarre. Uh, but yeah, like, getting everything under the little GameCube disc probably was a bit of a challenge. Sound is usually the first thing to suffer. <clears throat> and, uh, the compression. I even, you know, I've, I've dabbled in that myself a bit. When I had to make a, a copy of, uh, Disc 3 for Shenmue 2, I had to use a compressed audio version. Oh god, I don't know that I want to fight these guys. <laughs> it's gonna take way too long. <laughs> um... No? I can't run? Damn it. Uh... 
That doesn't affect the whole party, does it? If you run? That would suck. But yeah, with Shenmue 2, uh, the voice files sounded absolutely horrible. It's just one disc, too, but everyone sounded like a robot speaking through, like, you know, you know the cow the can sound system to do in tree houses? It sounded like that. Everybody was just speaking through cans with a little robot vibe to it. It was terrible. Oh, God damn it. Tales of Symphonia on GameCube had two discs. I never played a, a Tales game before, so... <clears throat> um... But, yeah, I guess, I guess when it comes to some of them, you have little choice, but to actually... Uh, do that. Oh, this might not be so great just because of the sheer quantity of these guys. Let's, let's hope I could run. Retreat. There we go. Okay. Yep. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I've been streaming for like 20 minutes already and we've barely made any headway to through this South Ocean. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. Just in case we run into those guys again. That Eterna spell is beans. It's absolute shite. It always knocks out. There's like no if and or but about it <laughs> from what it seems like. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, I still don't exactly know the direction that we're supposed to be heading here, so... Tales games are okay, sort of like the antithesis of Final Fantasy. At some point, I'd like to try a lot of the major RPGs. Um, you know, this kind of this, uh, playing Skies of Arcadia kind of falls in line with that. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff I missed uh, growing up. I've played through all the Final Fantasy games, and that takes up a chunk of time. Um, so I'm I'm good on those for a little while. Uh, but some some of the other games. Um, you know, some of the Squaresoft games that were big in the 90s, I missed out on. I've played uh, Chrono Trigger, uh, still haven't done like Chrono Cross, done Secret of Mana, never played Legend, I hear Legend is a little iffy though. Um, but you know, there's like Tales of Symphonia, uh, and a number of other things that I've, I've never had the opportunity to actually play through. Uh, a couple of the Wild, I got a Wild Arms game like a long time ago, like when I was 13 and I never played it. So, there, there's a handful of things here. What do we want to do? I think I'll just, like, do basic attacks on these guys. But magic is a little bit of a must. These so electric attacks seem to do okay, I think. Did I ever have an opportunity to do that one? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know, Drachma, just do something, yeah. yeah. Uh, Biseria. Biseria, however you want to say that. I'm assuming it's Japanese. That one came out recently, right? That was like a year or two ago. That is a long-running series, yeah. I'm, I'm like almost surprised <laughs> it's been going so long. A lot of these, you know, unless you're Final Fantasy, uh, which may or may not be a good thing, depending on who you are. Um, a lot of these uh, RPG series kind of peter out after a good decade and a half, but uh, yeah, some of them, some of them still go strong. Tales of Symphonia Two sucked. Tales of the Abyss, Tales of Fantasia, yeah, there's, there is plenty. One day, one day. I'll see about getting through them, but. I don't know, I think I'll just try to stick with the tags here since there's not too many people. Tales has held up really well, better than Final Fantasy in your opinion. 
They don't reuse characters very often. Each game seems to be set in a different universe. It's a little bit similar to the Final Fantasy series. Obviously, there's exceptions when they do certain sequels or other things like that. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, each one is is a little bit different. And uh, Vamp 9 is your favorite. 9 is probably my favorite. That was the first Final Fantasy game I had ever played was, was 9. And that was shortly after it was released. Uh, and it's kind of stuck with me ever since. I don't... I, don't know that I like any better than that at the moment, though I, I, I do like a number of the games in the series. Final Fantasy VI, eh, nothing wrong with Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI is like the hipster's choice, in my opinion. Because <laughs> everybody, everybody usually by default says, you know, oh, Final Fantasy VII's the best game ever. Um, and like, you know, people that are into the Final Fantasy series still, but they've got like a sort of resentment towards 7, and they'll usually go after 6. Not saying it's a bad game though, 6 is a wonderful game. It's just, like I said, it, it attracts a certain crowd. Hey, look! There are leaves blowing in the wind. See, I noticed that. I thought there were like fish trying to attack me. Which means, we're close to land. They finally made it across South Ocean. I know, finally. Oh, this is Ixitaka. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, a, I'm guessing this is like some sort of Aztecian reminiscent kind of thing. Most people in this world do not even know that the continent exists across South Ocean. The discovery of this lush, rich continent with a long history has demonstrated the possibility that even more unknown, undiscovered lands may await. Five is your favorite? Five has, uh, butts, yeah? <laughs> Barts. She got renamed too, because obviously we wouldn't want a main character named Butts in our in our American games. Uh, should these leaves come from? From it came from Ixitaka, and the light of the green moon. Ever since ancient times, the lands of Ixitaka have been covered in lush forests. A life-giving green moon has blessed the lands with fertility. Wow. Blessed lands, huh? Oh God, we got another. Ika's got a uh, weird visual style in her mem in her imagination. If that's true, I'm sure there's all kinds of delicious things to eat there. I don't like the thing on the right. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I can see it now. Piles and piles of fruits and vegetables of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes. I bet there's just as many carnivorous monsters roaming around these woods too, preying upon unsuspecting fools who sit there stuffing their faces with fruit. Hey, you don't have to crush my hopes like that. <laughs> if Ika was hungry enough, she'd probably eat the monsters too. That's true. Hey. I can see that. Vice, look what you did. Now you've got Fina doing it. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> Get to your posts. Get ready to drop anchor. Aye, aye, Captain. As soon as we see Ixitaka, we'll look for a spot to land. I'm watching the four job fiesta, get to see people play Final Fantasy V for charity. That's cool. Final, Final Fantasy V, in comparison to other ones, is also relatively short. Which nowadays is more preferable for me. Uh, I've I, I've played every Final Fantasy game to completion once, except for seven and nine and ten. I've done at least two or three times, but I haven't done. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I played five. When did I pick that up? I got that. See, they had released a lot of the Final Fantasy games um, on PlayStation as part of like anthologies, uh, usually mixed in with one or two other games. And a few years after those came out, that's about when I played them. So it's it's been a it's been a minute. Um, what are we dealing with here? What the hell are these things? I don't know what a so rock is. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Well, let's see. Let's see if magic works. Sure. I just want to get rid of them. I don't like the look of them. Let's see if red does anything to. Oh wait, no. 
Uh, yellow. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Moons, give me strength. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm guessing it's strong against fire. Come on. What are you doing? Don't heal yourself. You're healing yourself for the one damage I caused. <sighs> Talk about a wuss. Oh, wow. Oh ho ho! Okay, I managed to actually kill it. Good. We finished them off. Hmm. That was a lot of money. Of course, I did fight like a ass load of them. Ooh, we got like some tribal beat in the music now. One thing I'm appreciating, appreciating out of this game um, is the layered tracks, which I always like that. Now it's a bit commonplace, but uh, it was especially neat way back in the day when this was first being implemented. Metal Gear was uh, Metal Gear Solid, in, in fact, was uh, one of the first progenitors of that. Sort of set the stage for uh, a lot of these layered tracks. Ooh, I like the treehouse vibe. Um, there are a bunch of people wearing masks and they have spears too. Yeah, we can see that. They're kind of in front of us. Skies is one of the only games you know with the dynamic boss music. Uh, I'm gonna say I know there's a something I play right here and like that has it, but I can't think of it at the moment. Are you Ketya? Huh? The girl in white clothes. Is she Ketya? Uh, uh, oh yeah. What? Are they talking about me? Um, we're blue rogues. We came across the South Ocean. You are not Ketya. You are the same as the other men from the East. It is best if you leave soon. Okay. I say we play into it. Let's just call ourselves Ketya. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? What do they mean, Ketya? And who are the men from the East? The Valoans, no doubt. Think here, Vice, come on! I have no idea. I don't know what they're talking about. Mm, we should meet with the leader of the village. He might be able to explain what's going on here. Also, that trip across South Ocean has depleted our fuel supply. Oh, look, vamp, there, there is fuel. <laughs> it's just unseen, it's an unseen uh, stat. We need to stock up on Moonstones if we ever want to leave this place. But we can't actually leave this place without doing that, right? Okay, let's find the leader of this village. Maybe we'll be able to find some moonstones here as well. They move kind of weird, like zombies. I want nothing to do with you. Okay, fine. I'm not really feeling you too much either, but uh, you hear me complaining. This is cool. I was like the aesthetic of, uh, it's a little blocky, sure, but <laughs> I still appreciate the aesthetic of uh, a tree village. What are you hiding in here? What's going on? 
Hello? High Priest. Ketya and the people of the East were once confused, but we will confuse the two no more. I see. I wonder what this is. Looks like ground up berries and herbs. I wonder what they're used for. Medicine, rituals, other various forms of practices. Okay. Hello? She's cute. Item merchant's daughter. Okay. Just the man I wanted to see. I need to stock up. I have nothing to sell to a person from the East. <sighs> Judging books by its cover much? Also, that waterfall is really loud. Oh, wait, 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 oh, I missed it. It's hard to hear through my headphones, the VMU, but there, there was a cham down there. This game has a little VMU uh, mini game. That little, uh, that weird little uh, blobby thing that uh, Fina has eats these, um, which I think I found one earlier and I, I neglected to give it to him, but it eats these things called chams or choms or however you want to say it. <laughs> but these essentially, from what uh, my understanding of it is, will power him up and allow him to change into different things, maybe giving him more attack power. I don't know yet, I haven't seen it happen. However, um, the VMU will beep incessantly uh, when he comes near one, so it's always a good idea to take a look and try and find it if you can. Oh god, I don't like his face. He looks like the happy mass salesman, but like, not happy. Who are you? <laughs> it's a happy crowd. Who are you? My father's not here. Oh, everybody wants to know who I am. I don't know. What do you want me to say? This box of tools, various ship parts. Must be great to be able to keep everything this organized. The unhappy mass salesman, right? This is like the early years of the happy mass salesman prior to becoming happy in masks and whatnot. To judge from your appearance, I gather you came from over Ocean Way? I... Um, yeah? I don't really know where I'm going. I hope none of this is like, oh, hey, what? You're from... Oh, wait, no, you're not. Man, you look really similar to one of the Blue Rogue people. Hello, you don't seem to be from this town. Who are you? Uh, we're not, actually. We had to cross the South Ocean to get here. My name's Vice. Wow, you were able to cross the South Ocean? That's impressive. Oh, oh, Hans? My name is Hans. It's good to meet you. <laughs> I, I, if I had to guess what his name was, Hans would probably have been the last one. Uh, but yeah, sure. Uh, we're blue rogues under the command of Captain S Sentime? Sentime, sure. Or is it Sentime? I'm gonna say Sentime. We had to crash land here after a hurricane knocked us off course. Sentime. He's a blue rogue that takes in orphans and trains them. He's like Big Boss. I also heard that he's a brilliant engineer. Yeah, he was. I mean, is. The Valoans kidnapped him and are forcing him to build weapons for them. We're staying here and working on the ship until he returns. Not doing a good job, I see. <laughs> this looks like shit. Oh, I hope he returns soon. Hey, Hans, I was wondering if uh, you could help out some fellow blue rogues. We burned all of our fu fuel, fur, fuel crossing South Ocean. Do you think you could spare a few moonstones? 
Of course. We've got plenty to spare. Here, take these. Oh, that's, that was just in his hands. It was like a magic trick. Thanks, we owe you one. You really helped us out a lot. You're welcome. Well, I need to get back to work. Good luck. Thanks. Moonstone fuel. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Parts from all kinds of different ships have been used in rebuilding this thing. Must take a lot of skill to build something with such a random selection of parts. These repair methods and replacement parts are listed in amazing detail. Talk about organized. Okay, we can stop gushing over the ship now. Uh, okay, so that explains why these people don't look like they're part of the village. I mean, the one girl is. She's obviously with them, but... Everybody else is a blue rogue. Okay, so I guess that's one test down. Now we gotta find the village leader. It's gonna have the tallest, biggest, strongest tree hut in all the land. I'm gonna go up. What the hell is that? Okay. It's a little creepy that it's pink and like the only one out there. If there was a little bit more activity, I'd probably be less worried. Oh, it's some kind of monkey. Man, it looked like some sort of like mutant. I mean, it still kind of does, but uh, you know, it's just in monkey shape. Silent treatment, eh? Okay. <laughs> I was not aware that's what this was. Oh, hey, Moonberry! Let's see, who could use this? Okay, fine, you could use it. Lunar Blessing. Fina calls upon Silver Moon and blesses each party member with regeneration. That's nice. How do I go about, uh... Let's see. Unlocking the question mark ones. Is that just, like, dependent on leveling up, or... Is there some sort of unseen system to that? Higher, can I? All right. Just moonberries. All right. I watched, um, I was re watching some of those streams, uh, of somebody playing this game up to the point to where I was, or at least a portion of it, and I remember them having, like, Vice had something else. He had, like, an extreme special move um, around the time where they were trying to free the Blue Rogues from the Valoan City, or Coliseum, and I was like, well, how the hell did he get that? I was I was only doing, like, snippets, though, so I didn't, I didn't watch all of it. It's an article of Vixitok and clothing. I can't tell whether you're supposed to wear it around your waist or over your shoulder. It is often tricky. Wait, is this something? Ah. What the hell? Ugh, go away! Scram! Don't bother me! Oh, oh man, she had like extreme physics on those things. Wow. Her and Beleza and, uh, in her Belena disguise. It's the two times I've seen physics. This is, this is future tech happening right here. Uh, 
No. No, good thing they put a save thing in here. I don't I don't like the physics when they're they're on saggy ones, so it's not my it's not my preference. Mm, so you're from the east? You look tired. Would you like a room for the night? It'll be 160 gold. Oh, I see. No. Actually, wait, maybe. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we kind of need it, don't we? There's not a whole lot of opportunities to fully recover health and MP in this game, so you seem refreshed. Come again anytime you need a rest. And I have money, of course. Uh, you must be the elder, right? So, you are the ones from the East who people have been talking about. Yes. So, you are from the East. We, we stated that already. You people bring disaster. Leave this village immediately. Uh, wait a minute. Why does everyone keep talking about these men from the East and this Ketcha stuff? I don't even know what a Ketcha is. Ketya is our god. Generations ago, when the giant came to destroy us, Ketya appeared and saved our village. Ancient prophecies say that Ketya's messengers will come from the east and save us if our land is ever in danger. I understand, and since we came from the east, that is why everyone thinks Ketya sent us. But if Ketya's messengers are supposed to save you, why did you say that people from the east bring disaster? Even now, the men from the east are destroying our land. They claim to come from a place called Valua. Valua? They're here too? Yes. When the people from Valua came, everyone thought that Ketya sent them. Even the king came to greet them. Oh, so you're not the leader. Oh, okay. We could probably stop talking to him, right? The people from Valua said they wanted moonstones. We took them to our sacred mountain where we keep glow rocks. Huh? So, the Valoans came to steal their moonstones. And then the people from Valoa attacked us with fire-breathing iron ships. They took control of Sacred Mountain. Everyone, even the king, fought. But many were killed and the forest was burned. The survivors were taken as slaves. That's terrible. They are using your people to gather the moonstones so they can make weapons. So that's why everyone's so against the men from the east. Please, you need to trust us. We're different from the Valoans, the men from the east. We fight against followers so they can't hurt people. And that's why we've come all this way. We need a very precious stone called a moon crystal. Mm. You can't expect them to trust us. You're wasting the time, boy. Please, I'm telling you the truth. Please. Uh, don't want to look at that face too long. Uh, if you fly north from this village, you'll see a small hut in the middle of a forest. That is where a king is hiding. Wow, that's a lot of information just to give to somebody. Kings of our land have always passed down the sacred green stone from generation to generation. This may be the stone that you seek. Your eyes, they are pure. I believe you are here to help us. Please save our people. Uh huh. Thank you. I will not betray you. That's a, very, that's a very odd thing to say, but all right. I guess we just need to reaffirm that. Let's go. We've got a village to save. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, I saw this ladder here. I gotta go investigate what's going on. Ooh, a little dance going on. Hello, what have we here? This song is for Ketya. When the Valoans came, I played this song in the Welcome Festival. I played to ask Ketya to come and drive off the Valoans. The Elder said that you defeated Valoa. Is it true? Um, not, not yet. News travels fast. Wow, we just got out of that hut. I've always believed in Ketya. I believe someday Ketya will come and destroy Valoa for us. 
Maybe you were sent by Ketya? Do you think so? Uh, I don't know, I just got here. Maybe, I, I've got a severe prejudice and hatred for the Valoans, apparently. They're uncool dudes, and I don't deal with uncool. What the hell? You are not a bad man, the Elder said so. I am Tika Tika. I was the first to see you coming. My eyes are sharper than the birds. I am proud of my eyes. If I concentrate, I can see anything, no matter how far. Shall I show you? Yeah, sure. All right, here goes. Mm. Mm. Yeah! Aha! A golden man. To the north, I see a golden man. In the northern sky, there is a golden man. It is the truth. Go and see for yourself. Right. You know, I could just say, like, a weird thing, too, and, and claim that I saw it. What is a Paranta seed? Seed of Paranta tree which blooms under a full red moon increases power by three. Wow. Uh, who needs power that would be able to utilize it well enough? You know what? I'll give a device. Yeah, sure. Why not? Old Captain Drachma is doing pretty well for himself. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to use this for him. Uh, advice that is. Cool. Maybe now I could shop, too, as well. That'd be nice. Yeah, I wish there was a quicker way to get around these trees. I did see a little... What's it? A little... little trolley thing. Hold on, where is that? Oh, maybe that's not here. Oh, no, that goes to somewhere else entirely. All right. Eh, oh, never mind. Here it is. Ah. Hmm. Camera's a little tricky to get around. I think I've said this before when I was... What was I playing? I was playing something with the, with the Dreamcast controller. And I was like, uh, my uh, my right hand thumb is, is like feeling around for another analog stick so I can control the camera, but uh, to no avail. Triggers are good enough, I suppose. They're just a little slow. The Elder says I must help you, so even though I don't like it, I will sell to you. Good. It's good to listen to your Elders. Uh, what do you got? What you got? What you got? Hunting arc. Um, yeah. We'll do that, because Ika's current weapon is a little bit sucky. Yeah, so I'm fine with purple. Let's do that. Miner's overalls, fiber robe, ceremonial robe woven from plants, protects the user from magic attacks. Ah, uh, golden armor, wow. Ketchy feather, feather ornament imbued with the power of Ketchia, improves dodge percent and defense. Hmm. Is that it? That golden armor sure seems nice. Miner's overalls ain't bad. Okay, well, what we lose on defense, we gain in magic here. Um, Vice is more inclined to use magic than Drachma is. I'll go ahead and do that one. Why not? This is the part of the game where I spend all my money. Oh, God. All that time saving up. Yeah, why not? Let's just get the Hunter's Sword. I'll say I'll sell a couple things, I suppose. Do 
get rid of that. Nasser Cutlass. You don't need that. Don't need no stinking scout wing. Um. I should really look at this stuff and see if I could sell any of it, but... Uh, accessories I have a hard time getting rid of. Dracula's only good for support magic because he's tanky enough to survive long enough to use it. True. I should probably get him on the, uh, the old green and silver then. Actually, I should probably get him on silver. I need someone else I could do a resurrect spell. Fiber rope. Do we want to give this to anybody? You know what? Um... Hmm, can I be equipped? Fiber, okay, the fiber robe, let's see. Uh, Liz is out on attack and whatever we is, but uh, she needs some more defense. Oh, oh, she was, what? Oh, there it is. So she wasn't wearing Fina's robe. Yeah, there it all goes. Hey, I just gave you like an ass load of money, man. You can at least thank me. Alright, Drachma, you are on, uh... Oh wait, no, that's not how you do it. I don't even remember getting a beak hand at any point. Did I, did I pay for that? You're gonna be on silver duty. Okay. Ready to get back in the swing of it. Oh, okay, split second of waterfall. I'm curious about this gold man. Let's um Okay, let's get out of the bush first. Let's see if that guy was lying. Oh, okay. Fine, I guess. Make way for story. Are you Smelling for something? What are you doing here? Hey, what's that smell? It smells like something is burning. Look on the horizon. The forest! That would do it. Oh no, do they actually have a ship with a flamethrower? Yes, they do, and it's got like a little arm and any everything. Oh, this is the loco. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's like the gadget guy, isn't he? Or the weapons. The weapons department. That's just silly. Yep, there he is. There's a little guy. Burn, burn, burn! Witness the awesome power of my flame cannon. The thicker the forest, the more it burns. Ha ha ha! After I burn down the forest, I will be able to find the lost city of Rixis, and the moon crystal will be mine. Lord DeLoco, there's a ship approaching from the aft. It matches the description of those air pirates. Vice is here. He's a kid that escaped from the Grand Fortress and defeated Beleza. Perfect, perfect. It's just in time to feel the heat from my flame cannon. This guy's such a nerd. Yee -hee -hee. I wonder how Vice likes his food. 
medium, or perhaps well done. I hope he doesn't die too fast. <laughs> this guy's nuts. The forest, this is horrible. What kind of twisted psycho would do this? Whoever it is, he'll have to deal with me. If we get hit by that blast of fire, we're done for. We'll have to dodge the flames and counterattack. Oh, okay. Oh, just battle. Man, we didn't even get into it. It just is. <laughs> Fear the power of the invincible chameleon. Uh, I'd rather not feel anything. You know what? I still haven't tested most of this, uh... These, uh, cannons and whatnot and such. Wait, what was that? Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll just block it off. Oh, let's get some focus in here. Maybe try a little torpedo action. Curious to see how dangerous this thing is. I'm assuming probably pretty, but uh, I don't know. I've never been a fan of flamethrowers. They never seem to do much anyway, so. Whoa. This is going to be one of those build-up ships. There we go. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Ha! <laughs> Losers. I didn't even do an evasive action. Damn you, Vice! You dare even scratch my precious chameleon? You will pay for your insolence. Lord DeLoco, we must repair the damage to the ship as soon as... Silence! It may be damaged, but a perfect machine will never break down. Hehe, <laughs> just you watch. I'll make sure to give you a taste of each and every one of my cannons. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, alright, yeah. We got, a, we got a little opportunity to uh, do the harpoon cannon. That'll be good. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do today? I think maybe that... Let's do another focus here. Guard. Uh, I don't know. Miss! Oh no. an insult. Ow. Well, that didn't do much damage, so whatever. Man. Perfect positioning. They miss, or yeah, I guess they did. Oh, I don't like that laser thing, whatever that was. Hee <laughs> hee, it's time for the main event. You better watch out, Vice. Don't get too close, or you'll get burnt. Oh no, that arm is slowly moving. 
Uh, yeah, that, uh, that little red thing. Uh, red, that red block is a little disconcerting. <clears throat> However, we can use the harpoon cannon, so... I wonder if any magic will do decently. Let's give it a shot, huh? Nice. Okay. Time for the big show. Come on. Ah, not bad, not bad. It's got a lot of health, that, that, that chip, but still. You know what I should have done? I should have used Incrum. Probably could have gotten a little extra thousand or two out of that. Yeah, hopefully this isn't gonna hurt us too bad, though. Famous last words, let's see. Okay, okay. And, and. <laughs> I'm guessing this one's the flamethrower. He did, he did prop it up that way. Yeah. Oh boy. What? Um, that doesn't look so good. <laughs> okay, it's still, still manageable. Thank God for the evasive action. <laughs> How do you like that, Vice? That's what you get for scratching my ship. Damn. I didn't think that flying piece of junk could do that damage. Listen, boy. Focus our cannon fire on the turn uh, right before he attacks. It will knock him off balance. His ship is relatively small. If we can knock him off balance, he might not be able to use that cannon. Uh... You know, last time we tried something like this, it didn't work out so great when we were fighting the Gigas, but, uh... I'm sure you, you know best. Oh, wait, no. You know, it doesn't really matter. I always like Vice to do the attacks, but I, I don't think... I don't think it really matters who executes this. Ooh, are we gonna have enough? Well, how much does that take? Ugh. Okay. I'm just worried that uh, I'm not gonna have enough SP to actually execute the you know what, it probably would have been fine, but uh, better safe than sorry. Besides, the Harpoon Cannon does so much damage, I think... I think we'll be okay if we manage to get that next one in. Waiting on bated breath. Ooh, that wasn't so good. Didn't I toss in an evasive action somewhere in there? <laughs> okay, I guess it just has a lot of attacks going for it. Oh, all right, whatever. Oh boy, okay. I could use that. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like the look of this. Yeah, we're gonna need to heal. I would have loved to have done an Incrim right before this. That was kind of my idea, but I don't think that's gonna fly based on the two attacks it's gonna do after I do the, uh... After I do the Harpoon Cannon, so... Let's 
We're just gonna defend. Come on. So close. All right, come on, give it to me. Bring it. Let's see, let's see. A revolver cannon action. All right, I got you. Sounds like he's having some sort of panic attack. Okay, all right. I'm gonna survive, that's fine. My time to shine. Um... Oh, you don't have Incrim, damn it. See how well that does. All right, well, no, let's do a repair kit. Eh. Good enough for me. Waiting orders, a waste of a turn. Ugh. Close. <coughs> okay, okay. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, don't fail me. Lost? Or was that not me? No, that was them. That was them, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Suckers. Good deal. Oh, I just kind of skipped through that. I got some items. I'll check it out later. What? What? Impossible! My, my flame cannon, how? What? It can't be! It can't be! It can't be! There was no way they could defeat me. This must be a dream, a dream, I tell you. Oh, he's all tuckered out. Sir, sir, get a hold of yourself. We must retreat. Head back to Moonstone Mountain. <laughs> All right, they've got him on the run. They're probably searching for the moon crystal too. We've got to hurry. Yay. What tree is we're supposed we're supposed to go? We could do that real quick. I still see no gold man, and I I traveled north quite a ways. Actually, let me uh I guess nobody really would have taken any HP damage. The uh little jack's okay. Let me check though, let me see what items we actually got on that. 
Is that nothing in here? Captain's Stripe. Mark earned by shooting down an enemy using it will increase ship's parameters and endurance. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> uh, rogue figure. I think I already put one up actually. V type cannon. Ah, a pretty version of the Jeep type cannon with the same basic design but greater firepower. Hold up a sec here. Nobody explain this to me. No, I'm not too fond of that three inch blaster. Yeah, but it's, uh... We'll get rid of the torpedo. I don't know. The standard cannons have done pretty well for me. I mean, I'd hate to get rid of them. But you know what? I never use two standard cannons in one run anyway. So maybe, maybe we'll just have a... Uh, a quad standard for our cannons. We'll just we'll just got we'll have four of them. That, that'll do. I have anything I can? Okay. Yeah, we look to be pretty good here. Okay, cool. King's hideout, hidden in plain sight, cause it's just like right there. Oh, okay. Wow, we didn't even, like, get off the ship. We were just here. So, you people... You are the people that have come from the eastern skies. The high priests informed me of your arrival. They also told me that you drove off the fire-breathing ship that was destroying our land. I thank you on behalf of my people, the forest and Ketya. It was nothing, really. We were just doing what we thought was the right thing to do. I was driven from my land and forced to live in this hut. I am sorry, but I am not in the position to compensate you for your bravery. However, I will do anything that is within my power as king to reward you. Is there anything I can do for you? Actually, your majesty, we did have something to ask you. We're looking for the green moon crystal. The green moon crystal? Perhaps you speak of the legendary sacred green stone. The men from Valoa came looking for the same thing, but I don't know where it is. However, if the stone did exist, it would probably be located in the lost city of Rixus. Lost city? Rixus? I believe that was the name of the capital of Ixitaka in the Old World. You are correct. And it is said that the buildings, even the streets, were made of pure gold. <laughs> gold? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's find Rixus right now! Calm down, Ika, you're embarrassing me. So, uh, do you know where Rixus is located? I'm afraid not. It has been hidden for generations. Our people call it the City of Mists. It may not even exist anymore. One of my high priests known as, uh, uh, knows a great deal about the old world. His name is Isapa. If anyone would know, it would be him. I see. Would it be alright for us to meet Isapa? Mm, Isapa is not here. The Valoans took him to Sacred Mountain. In the mountain is a mine that contains what you call moonstones. So the Valoans kidnapped one of your high priests and... Uh, He's being held prisoner in the Moonstone Mountain. Vice, what should we do? Well, we need to go talk to him. We need to go to Moonstone Mountain. Let's break into Moonstone Mines. We can try to save Isapa. Mm. Mm. It appears to be our only option. Breaking into a Voluan stronghold isn't going to be easy. You're willing to risk your lives to save Isapa? Our sacred mountain is south of the Horteca village. Be careful. Leave it to us. Onward to Moonstone Mountain. Oh wait, you got something hiding here, bud. Where is it? Show me that jam. There we are. Cool. Our kingdom has been destroyed. Even the king is forced to live in the conditions not fit for beasts. 
And as old as I am, I can do nothing. The Runnels have made Moonstone Mountain into their headquarters. Moonstone Mountain is south of Horteca. If you plan to on, uh, if you plan on going, be careful. Yes. Okay, so. South. Should be that way. That's back where I came from. There seems to be an assortment of things out here, though, so that's that's cool. Uh, I think we'll look into that next time. They did a good chunk of game right now, so I'm happy with that. It's about my usual quitting time. And, um, yeah, nothing more to say than that. Let's see. A little bit of a shorter stream, but that's, that's how it goes. I'll try to, uh, next time I do Skies, I'll try to make a little more time for it, start a bit earlier. And we'll do what I usually start at, uh, would be 6 Eastern as opposed to 7 or 8. So, anyway, thank you guys. Thank you, Highborn Hero, Solidus. Vamp, Night Wraith, whatever you want to be. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, like I said, I've, I've been, uh, there's a, a couple of games I've been thinking of, of starting up um, that I've been wanting to do on stream, but um, a little hooked in the skies of Arcadia at the moment. So, I don't know. I might just do this for the rest of the week. But we'll play it by ear as usual. I've got a bit of a headache. I'm going to take some Advil and make some dinner and call it a day. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night, all. Uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow, I think. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll skip Thursday and do Friday. Sounds good to me. See you guys next time.